Okay, here I am. I am Mike Conwies, and as you see, I'm reviewing this nice boss drill. Because, sadly, uh, I have to tell you the sad news, actually. All the boss drills I had, okay, though a lot of them were actually stolen, and I had to return them, actually, finally. Because I had some complaints saying, I think Mike Conwies himself has actually been stealing some drills. And I said, no, I have not. And I guess they found out that I did because there was a whole bunch of boss drills in the back of the pickup truck that looked like just like those. Okay, anyway, so I had to return those, okay? Yes, I'm not a really good guy, okay? I never said it was. But anyway, enough about me. I got just now this new drill. It was on clearance. Uh, and those, as you see, because, you know, down there where I live at, Ontario, Canada, and around Milton, there's actually a Lowe's there and stuff. And anyway, it was on clearance, and I thought I should give it a try and see. This thing right here it was a dent here, and I, and I, and goodness, is I got it actually cheaper because I actually stand there for eight aisles, whining to him, telling I want this on clearance. This little dent here is terrible. And I said, I cannot go on with this terrible dent. But anyway, enough about the story. Let's get back to this drill and review it. Okay, let me show you me how I open it. I wouldn't, I'm not going to use no utility knife. That's only made for pansies, okay? I, myself, and my homies, I am built strong. Steve, Steve, I, I think I need help you. Steve, Steve, I need help. Okay, maybe if you turn clockwise, and I turn this way, maybe, maybe it might have a better idea. Okay, okay, you turn that way, yeah, okay. No, 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 why don't you go 90 degrees in that angle, okay? You know what, maybe we won't do 90 degrees, why don't we just pull sides like it's a couple, okay? So maybe we'll find the thing. Ah, ah that's, that's not working, okay? Why don't we check that way? we tone it. Okay, we, you tone it that way, I tone it this way. Oh. Uh, Steve, I, I don't think we get this thing open how it seems like. Uh, I don't know what we could do. But that, that utility knife was there the whole time. The whole, the whole time. Maybe, maybe your utility knife is actually better off to use uh, when you open up this boss drill. So I'll actually note that actually in the comments or the description, you should maybe use a, a utility knife to open up the Bosch thing, which common sense proves you should do it, but I'm not really smart. Anyway, see, as you see, here it is. Uh, it's dead enough, but the thing is, the box is not really the main thing. So let's just open it. Up. I will use the utility knife for this one. Cool, the guy the own stuff for Bosch. This is actually my first drill I ever bought, like I said, because it's still double ones. Comes to a structure, man. That's that's pretty neat. Has two drills. Has a battery charger. Who knew that would not go happen? Here it is itself. As you see, boss were too stupid to leave it actually fully charged. That's just not nice. It comes to your own big case, that's the upside. It comes to your handle piece to put along your pocket, which I do do that sometimes. And that's about it in the box. It says there'll be two drills, but that's one thing we'll make a complaint about uh, Bosch about. So that's, that's not a good idea. Now, I'm going to get a good battery here, just a second, right here. As you see, Steve right here bought this, well, got this uh, Bosch battery, which is not, he didn't, like, he bought it with his own Bosch battery because he used Bosch. But anyway, he was thankfully uh, nice and stuff to actually give me this. So I was happy he did that. So anyway, here's the box. We don't think we need the box anymore. But see, like I said, we can't use this battery because they decided to leave it dead. So anyway, so here it is right here, how it signs and everything. It's pretty easy to say. It's a good grip and stuff. I do, I do like it. It's nice. And it comes to the whole bit, like I'm saying, like, we'll probably use Phillips on this one because 
I only I go actually do a test drive too and see what this fast do because I have some uh, good uh people a uh, good. Sorry about the five minutes later. Why you may ask? We had a five minute later uh thing happen. It's because Steve decided to sing with the cat, which is not about the cat singing. It's about me reviewing this drill. And I want to test it too. I want to test it with our competitors. We have Whackwell and also Mataro. I don't know what's name is, something like that. But see, we have this big battery installed and it's actually pretty nice. And see, that, I actually bought, I spent a hundred bucks more just to make it. I think it looks nice. I think it's stronger too. Excuse me, my, my bad. Anyway, the thing is, it's a nice drill and I think these things are gonna be good competitors and stuff. Now I don't know if that's actually the specific name of it. It's actually name, but I think it's I think he thinks it, he Steve thought it was Macaco, I think it is. I do know one thing, this thing's called whack well for sure. And I do know uh, it comes to these bits and stuff, but anyway, talk about that. We need to get that board and uh, I'm still interested to see if this actually comes like whack well. Okay, you know what? Hand me hand me a glass. Do you think it's coming like crackle? I think there's no crackle. Okay, good. I see my cackle. Oh, I, as you see, I use wing glasses. Yeah, I, I didn't know my eye sign was that bad, but I guess it was. Okay, now hand me uh, the drill, the 2 by 4 thing or whatever, and give me the screws. And we're going to try to see uh, what is a faster drill. And put a Phillips in it. Now, I think Steve needs to get a bit for me. Steve, go get another Phillips bit because I don't have another bit right here. I need another Phillips bit. Uh, we'll see you Terry and I if we have one of these problems again. We, need, we also need three screws because we got three competitors here. Well, you told Cal, well, wait, wait, wait. If you told Cal on the clock class, I told Clark class. I told Steve it wasn't going to work. I told him it was not going to work at all. That's why that's why he had a five minute delay there because he had to try to get this thing open. Finally we got the interior knife, like I told him to get the force brace. He was too stupid to know that. Sorry, Steve. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry, okay? Don't don't take that back. Okay, anyway. Uh as you see, we get oh Phillips. Oh good. Oh good. Yes, they actually do come up actually a Phillips uh and a squirrel uh combined thing. That's actually pretty interesting. I did not know that came with this actually. Like I thought it came with bits, but I didn't know it came with actually this cool bit thing. That's actually pretty interesting. Anyway, because this fit ups up uh, too like usual and it comes to this uh T25 which is actually pretty interesting. Usually the drills when I get them they don't have actually a whole bit thing for this kind of anyway um so see we go hook these things up and stuff and we can really we get this thing going. As I see, we do have some downsides. We cannot do actually three at a time, but I say three in the exact same time because I don't have three arms. I would like to have three arms, but I, I would like to be actually the three arm person, but I'm not the three arm person, I only have two arms. Anyway, what I'm going to do actually is actually put protection. We need safety force. So before we start drilling, let's get our safety on. And I will show you how to put everything on when we need to drill. Open up the glasses. So you're ready to go. Now put the glow protection so you carefully protect it. Put your other glove on so you'll be extra protected. And you should be ready to go. I got my safety on. Do you got your safety on? As I see, we uh, cannot uh, do two in the exact same time. But goodness is, we could do one at a time, which that's the only thing we have to do. Actually, usually that's what normal boys do. One at a time, they don't really use two in the exact same time. But I thought it would work, but I guess I'm wrong, like always. But anyway, uh, that's not about, this is not about me, about my, my doings or something. I, anyway, the point is, is that we need to try these things out. We need to test them and see what one's the best one in you know, this whole uh, competition here. And we go, goodness, we got seconds here. This will tell us what is faster 
in the post-seconds. If it's less or more, and if it's more, it's not good. If the one is less, it means it's fast on the little drill. Now, it could be the mataka, or the bosh, or the whack row. Now, what do you think is better right now? We should, what do we should use right now, uh, Stephen, the first one? I think the green one. The green, okay. The mataka. Okay. So, see, we're going to use this screw right here. You're going to use the mataka. Let's see. We're going to screw on this thing right here. You can see how fast this thing goes. You got seconds now? Okay, good. Oh, desk. Okay, see, that's it. All right. Now it's time for the Bosch. Okay, now we have the whack well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to show you the results in this video now. What one is the winner and what one is the loser? As I see, the Mataka got seven seconds, which is good, but not good enough. The Bashma got six seconds, which is good. That's a good. That's a good thing. That's a good second. It's the fastest one. Right now, it is. But the whack well got nine seconds. So it definitely beats these two. What well, beats the two? Actually, well, this actually does beat the two, actually. It's the longest one in the seconds. But what's the shortest one, which is the Luzo, and what one's the winner right now, is the Bosch Ma. The Bosch, we just call again, got six seconds, which is really good because pills in this thing, it took three more seconds more. This one took one more second more, like, it's still good, but, like, I think about this one, this one doesn't die right away, but this one right here is a good drill. If you ever watch this video, I advise you to buy this uh, drill, it's it's good, if it comes to charge, it comes to bits and everything, I think it's a good drill to buy. Matak is good too, but, I don't know, I I just think this one is good, this is a good drill to buy, I really do like this one, but... There's no downplay the fact I do like Wackwell, and I don't think I'm going to really criticize Wackwell. I like Wackwell because this drill I like so much about it is that it looks like it looks like a Star Wars gun, and it, it just reminds you of Han Solo, and it makes you think about I'm Han Solo, but I'm not. But anyway, the bottom line is, I will still keep this, and I will never stop my love with this thing, because I really do like how this thing looks like. But anyway, the bottom line of this video is that it's about this drill, and this drill, I think, is actually a good drill, and I think... Whoever's watching this video will actually think this drill is actually a pretty good drill. And I think it is a good buy. It's it's really strong. I think it's a nice drill. You got one bad, which is pretty good anyway. You got child and stuff. Now, I think it's a pretty good drill for the most part. Like I just told you, it's the fastest and stuff. And I don't know. I think it's the fastest. And I think it's, why well, know this video the best. But anyway. So, that's about all we'll have today. But don't have a good night. Have a Mike Homie's good night.